What is the crack, lads? Welcome back. We are doing the Eredivisie Player of the Month player pack review. There's a couple of tasty ones in here, but obviously with these players, you do not have any player levels to train them up. So they are what they are. So these are the maxed out versions of them. Perfect for, free, uh, for you know, newcomers or people that are playing free to play because you can get a free nominating contract from the event uh, in the actual starter cup when you play the event. So yeah, while I do think in the last review, check out my other video where I talk about the player transfers review because I do think you have Casemiro, Koundé, Dybala, and of course you have Renato Sanchez who are uh, five-star players. And I do think that there is probably a better selection there. But if you are a fan of the Eredivisie or you're a fan of Ajax or PSV or any of the clubs featured here, Feyenoord, Feyenoord, any of the clubs here, there is some good players here. But I do think that, like, you know, there isn't much difference between if you get a player like this, right? The problem with, a, with getting a player like this, if you are going to be using a three-star contract, which you can see, I have a three-star nominating contract there. So if I was to get this guy, I mean, is he going to change the dial on it if I am going to be playing him, right? I Like, I don't think so. Yes, he's super sub. Yes, he's got fairly okay speed and acceleration as a super sub. Finishing isn't bad. He's... Uh, He's not the worst player. He doesn't have that many player skills, really. Penalty specialist, super sub, and fighting spirit. He's got standard form. Uh, his team play style proficiency is obviously fairly high because the player of the month, the player of the week players can just slot in anywhere. But yeah, I don't think that, these, that this guy um, or even Danilo, who's another center forward, is going to be, like again, really changing the dial for me. A lot of these players that you have here, because you can't train them up, they need to have excellent stats like in one area. Because you can't train him, as I say. So for the likes of even Sillison here, who's in goals, like his reflexes of 82, it's just not good enough. Like you can get a goalkeeper for 30k um, that will have better reflexes than him with a couple of trainers. Uh, this guy even as well as a centre back. Now he's what I'd be talking about. He might be somebody that you take an extra look at because he's got fighting spirit, interception, blocker, sliding tackle and acrobatic clearance. He's also got good passing skills, good tackling, good defensive awareness, good speed. And he's fairly... Uh, He's fairly decent in the air as well, as you can see there with his heading. So yeah, he would be somebody that I take a look at that could be a little bit of a hidden gem. Um, but as I keep repeating, because you can't train these players up, it, you are going to have to make sure that, you know, it is worth getting a four-star nominated contract on this guy. These guys here, the rest of the three-star players, again, we've got a normal, pretty standard center midfielder. Obviously, he's got slide tackle and interception, which isn't too bad, and one-touch pass. We've also got small here, who is a left back he's on a form so if you were looking to you know spend your three star nominating contract if you have one of them you get it fairly easily with the events he's got fairly okay stamina passing curling aggression again you can't really train these guys up so they're they are what they are and this guy also as well as a center midfielder this is what i'm talking about like one key stat is something that catches my eye so this guy is a center midfielder but he's a roman flank play style he's got super sub He's got double touch, he's three stars, he's flip-flap, he's knuckle shot, dip and shot, acrobatic finishing, soul control, cut behind and turn. So he seems to be, you know, somebody that is a left winger, but he can also play CMF and he can play a lot of different positions. So this is a guy now that would actually maybe make me notice him a little bit more, like uh, kind of sit forward and notice a little bit because... He has got deformed this week, but that should change uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. 88 dribbling is extremely good. 85 speed and 93 acceleration and 82 balance is extremely good as well. So he is somebody that I definitely would look at if you were looking to have maybe just kind of a bit of a hidden gem. That's the way I always look at these players. Is it going to be somebody that you would buy on the market for GP? Probably not. Because if you can get somebody for 50,000 GP, you're going to go for the, the meta type players that, you know, the majority of people have. That's just the way people like to play online. They like to play the, use the big players. You know, Haaland up front, them type of players, you're all going to have very similar teams. But if you are looking to kind of switch it up with friends and stuff, these players can be extremely fun. So Danny Blind obviously is a player that I think is a little bit worth looking at as well. He's got blocker, interception, man marking, pin by crossing, way to pass. Excellent passer. He's got a form unwavering as well this week. So that is going to be, you know, he's going to be up more often than not. If you get a top player arrow here, right? You're going to have a left back that can play DMF, CMF, RCB, and he's going to have 90 ball control with the proper form arrow. He'll go up to 94 overall in the right play style. He'll have exceptional defensive awareness. His acceleration will come up to 72. His speed will go up to 75 or 76. 
and you also are good on the ball like you're going to be able to control the ball in tight possession is very high he would be somebody as well that i take a look at because of that a rating like any of the players that are on a rating here or b are definitely like worth a look i would say um but yeah i mean the main three guys then that you're going to be looking at here the four star and obviously we've got one five star which is gap uh gap po gap po yeah gap po gap co i don't know that's we'll learn our pronunciations for the next one unwavering form he's got loads of bags of bags of bags of player skills 86 speed or 84 speed 86 acceleration his offensive skills are brilliant his defensive skills aggression and defensive engagement isn't too bad so he might get back a little bit if you play him as a kind of a, a track back player because he doesn't have that as a player skill but you could put man marking on him if you really wanted to uh stamina is quite high he can only play left wing i like my wingers to be able to play at least three positions so left wing right wing and maybe through the middle um but if you are looking for a specialist player you have got a five star nominating contract and you don't need the players from the other player transfers ones such as uh dibella or you don't need kunde or you don't need casemiro or an sanchez or whoever else is there uh, i definitely think this guy is worth taking an extra look at because he does have again he does have some excellent player stats I think I would like to see his ball control maybe like 86 and that would have brought him up to a 93 overall I think which would have been better if you were looking at it because he is fairly tall he can uh, get up and down the pitch he does have good stamina the rest of his stats are fairly decent it's just that baseline stat there is the issue I think for me of having that low uh speed and then that low ball control that is a bit of an issue for me we've got dost as well again i don't think he really changes the dial if you are looking for a giant up front to be able to just header the ball and win a load of balls he is super sub as well this guy if you are if you don't if you can't afford Haaland and you want somebody that will come on you didn't get the Lewandowski card that has super sub i would definitely take a look at this guy he's a giant of a man he will be able to win a lot of aerial battles obviously his standard card can go up to this as well and he's not that expensive but yeah 86 have a finish in 88 heading is exceptionally good and then you've also got 80 jumping and 90 physical contact as well as super sub so you will get that boost when you bring him on and then last but not least we have kudos who is a goal poaching center forward again this guy reminds me of daka who plays for leicester he's got very similar stats speed style pace height weight everything he's 21 years of age he does have so many oh i nearly bought him there he does have so many player skills but the biggest problem with him is that form which is inconsistent that is a huge deal breaker i think uh if you are going to be looking at him there it is a bit of a huge deal breaker in my opinion i definitely think that you do need to be able to i just personally think you need to have players that have unwavering form because there's so many of them there i think it should be a lot rarer but that's just me but that is it for the era de vc club pack lads the selection the players of the month let me know if you guys are going to spin and skip on these i know a few people were asking me to do these so yeah i would definitely recommend checking them out and uh let me know if you spin or skip i'll talk to you later peace